That's right, Natasha. And just within the last hour, News Nation learning the identi identities of both of those Americans, both of them college students who were studying abroad. Natasha, you had Ann Gajewski, a nursing student at the University of Kentucky, and you also had Stephen Blessy, an international business student at Kennesaw State University. Both of their schools speaking out tonight. Overwhelming chaos in the streets of South Korea's capital Saturday night. More than 100,000 people descending on a popular neighborhood in Seoul, looking to celebrate Halloween. The situation turning deadly as a crush of people gathered in a narrow alley filled with bars and restaurants, allegedly after hearing about a celebrity sighting in the area. One witness overcome with emotion at the scene he saw unfold. There's so many people. <laughs> what are you going to do with 10 people? Yeah. And I had to like turn around and I told the crowd, you can't come this way. <laughs> people are dying. When the smoke cleared, more than 150 people were dead and more than 130 others had been injured. Today, News Nation learning a University of Kentucky nursing student who was studying overseas counted in the death toll. The university's president releasing a statement saying in part this, more than 150 people died this weekend. One of our students, Ann Gajewski, was among them. We have been in contact with Ann's family and will provide whatever support we can now and in the days ahead as they cope with this indescribable loss. UK's president going on to say that two other students and a faculty member are also in South Korea this semester, but have been contacted and are safe. The second American, Stephen Blessy, an international business major at Kennesaw State University, who was also studying abroad in South Korea. The school president tweeting out this. On behalf of the entire Kennesaw State community, our thoughts and prayers go out to Stephen's family and friends as they mourn this incomprehensible loss. South Korean officials say nearly all of the victims of the tragedy that unfolded Saturday night have now been identified, many of them in their teens and 20s, with women outnumbering men. The nation's president declaring the neighborhood where all of this unfolded a disaster area and announcing a week-long period of national mourning as the injured recover in Seoul's hospitals and officials try to piece together what happened. And according to South Korean authorities, those who remain unidentified are predominantly minors or foreign nationals. And Natasha, this was an event that filled up hospital beds, filled up entire hospital wards quite quickly. As for those injured during the crowd surge, 19 are reported to be in critical condition. Natasha, a heartbreaking story. And Marky Martin live for us tonight. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.